Hey there everyone, welcome to Wonderful Revolution. We are Sandy and Jed. We are currently exploring beautiful Colorado in our newly converted Sprinter van. Today's adventure takes us along the Mount Evans Scenic Byway, which happens to be the highest paid motor vehicle road in the United States. Good morning guys, today we are still in Colorado and we are going to do something kind of, I think kind of fun. Yeah, we're getting high. <laughs> Very high, we're gonna get like 14,000 feet high. Yeah, there's a little Colorado joke. I, I know they're kind of overdone, but. <laughs> so today there is a byway here, because if you have watched our other videos, we told you there are a million different scenic byways in Colorado. Today we are doing the Mount Evans Byway, which is the highest paved road in the United States. It is going to take us up to 14,130 feet. She knows I, I did zero research, so. I yeah, mean. and then after we get there, we can kind of hike to the top bag our first 14er <laughs> by, you know, I think it's 120 feet of elevation gain up to, the, I think it's a total 14,263 feet to the top of. But it's kind of a scary drive. Yeah, it's really scary. Yeah, so lots of twists and turns, uh, lots of drop-offs, but absolutely beautiful and we're really excited to be driving it today. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there are a few places along the way that you can stop and uh, use the bathroom, rest your nerves a little bit. So we're at Mount Goliath Natural Area right now. It's about 11,500 feet. And uh, yeah, it's kind of nice because the road is, as Sandy was saying earlier, is kind of kind of sketch. So it's kind of nice to, to have a little bit of a break. Looks like we've spotted our first animal. Looks like there's a marmot right up there. Okay, so I don't know how far up we are on the road, but we pulled off to say hi to these guys. We are at 12,800 feet. 12,800 feet, there you go. And so these guys are getting kind of close, so we're going to try to keep our distance so we don't get rammed. As you can see, there's still some snow out here. There's way, way, way in the distance more of the goats. So I just read a little sign that uh, we didn't see goats. We saw sheep. Those are the sheep. Hopefully we can see some of the goats. So this is another stop along the way up here. This is Summit Lake. Um, it's actually still kind of not completely frozen over, but it's got some frozen over parts. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now this is a fee area, but if you have a reservation for Mount Evans, the sign says that you don't have, have to, pay. to pay. I think it's a few, yeah. So I don't know how that works because you have to have a reservation right now to come up here, period. So um, yeah, but no, it's absolutely beautiful. Make sure you stop at all these little places along the way because they're definitely worth it. And there's another little trail over here that we're about to check out now too. So leaving from the same parking lot, there is the Chicago Lakes Overlook. If you look behind me here, an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous view and a perfect shot, uh, perfect spot to take some photographs. We finally have found oh, come out and go. Oh, he's coming up to the truck. I don't know what he's doing. So we've made it to the top parking area here at Mount Evans. The parking area is somewhere around 14,130 feet. Getting a little harder to breathe up here, um, but the best part is, is when we came around the corner up here, going towards the top, is there are tons and tons of mountain goats. They are absolutely amazing. And yeah, these these are the goats, not the sheep. The sheep look like goats, and the goats look like sheep. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and there are tons of little babies running around. Like, can they just cuddle with one? Yeah, can this, I? this is can like I? the best no. thing ever. Can no, I? you probably shouldn't. Okay. Right at the top here, they have uh, what's called the Crest House. It was built between, uh, what were the dates again? 1939. 1939 and 1941. So um, at the time that this was built, it was the highest structure in the world. Um, on 1979, there was an explosion up here and uh, it pretty much decimated this place. So um, 
it's really, really beautiful and you can walk through the ruins. Day 14 of Mount Evans Summit Expedition. Food is running low. Morale is running low. Water's running low. I can only hope that we summit soon. Okay, so we made it to the top of Mount Evans. <laughs> Forget where we are sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we're actually gonna head right back down because it's starting to sleet up here. But uh, how, how tall is this? 14, 265-ish, 258-ish, whatever reference you look at. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's only a quarter mile from the parking lot, even though the altitude, we're still sucking wind, but let's get back down. Okay, so we just hopped back into the town of Idaho Springs, which is the closest town to Mount Evans, I think. Yes. So it's a cute little town. And we're starving, so we decided to get some pizza because pizza is delicious. Yes. So we're at a little place called Bujo's, I think is I think how it's you Bojo's. say it. Bojo's, Bujo's, you decide. So we're gonna see what kind of pizza they have. So the pizza I got is called the Skyhawk. It's got pepperoni, cheese, green chilies, and I think that's it. And what did you get, Sandy? She, she's already digging in. The Cajun has actually gone as spicy already. It's got um, andouille sausage, jalapenos, onions. Okay. <laughs> See how this is. It tastes so good. So something crazy they do here in Colorado. I'm not, well, it's not crazy. It's actually pretty awesome. They put honey on their crust. So they eat the pizza and then save the crust and they pour honey on it. It's really, really good. Okay, so Bojo's Pizza was absolutely amazing. Uh, we both liked our pizzas. The uh, the Cajun one was was kind of spicy. The one with hatch green chilies, not so much, but I mean, it was still, still had a little bit of a kick to it, which was, which was really, really nice. But if you look behind me here, looks like it's going to storm. So we're going to beat feet back to the campground. All right, so what a day. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm actually really tired. I think between the sun and the elevation, I think we all got a little bit too much sun today just because the... The sun. The sun <laughs> and elevate. No, it's really strong. If you're going to Mount Evans, please bring sunscreen. Don't be like me. <laughs> yeah, especially if you have no hair like me. That's... Yeah, so like... At 14,000 feet, the sun is pretty hot, even though the temperature today was only like 69 or 70. So it wasn't, you know, super hot, but the sun is very hot at 14,000 feet. So we saw a ton of wildlife today. The goats, the sheep, the marmots, tons of marmots. We even saw a little pika. We didn't get a shot of him because he was too fast, but we did see a little pika. Yeah. yeah. My bad. Sorry. But that is actually our first 14er. Yeah, it is. So if you want to... Climb a 14er, then or we, we cheated. We drove. Much yeah, we drove. Way. Yeah, we drove all the way. So there is a trail that you can hike all the mm -hmm. way up and like legit like do it the right way. But yeah, so but we drove to like the 14,130 ish, and then basically hiked another 150 feet up a yeah. little. It was yeah. like a quarter of a mile. It was, yeah, it was actually other than the elevation it was actually pretty. Yeah, Simple. it was it was pretty easy, but uh, it did start sleeting on us, which was, you know, refreshing because it's it's July. Well, refreshing or scary when you think that you now have to drive down this mountain on these scary. So roads. the road is super sketch. The road is the road is super scary. Of course, I'm afraid of heights, so I kind of freaked out, like probably three quarters of the time. But I mean, yeah, he kept hiding his head. It was kind of cute. Aw. Aw. Good boy. That was Jed. <laughs> anyway, it was fun. Maybe while we're here in Colorado, we'll actually take on an actual hike up a 14er. We'll see. We'll, we're, we're working on getting some hiking in, adjusting to the altitude more, and maybe we'll give it a shot on one of the easier ones. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. So in the meantime, like this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the notifications bell. And that's going to do it for this video. And until next time, stay wonderful. wonderful.